vlogging. So today is a huge step because I am getting rid of my tried and true Boeing blueprint desk. And this whole setup is going away. I am finally upgrading to an Argosy Halo workstation and it's kind of a big deal for me because normally how it goes, you know, you work your, work your way up as best you can. But when you start the whole audio thing, you're starting on like, you know, your old, your old homework desk and, and just a regular room. And that's exactly what I did. And then gradually I get professional treating in here, get some nice monitors, get some, some decent equipment, but I was always still, I was always still mixing on this Boeing blueprint desk that I got for $20 in 1998. And it has served me very, very well. I've definitely got my $20 out of it. I can tell you that much. But now that I do this full time, at the end of the day, when I am mixing and bending over and getting to the rack stuff and all that kind of thing, I am fatigued. And this is my full time job now, and I should treat it as such. And my buddy Mark at Fastback was the final, was kind of the final straw on the proverbial camel's back. And he just said, hey, man. There's no use in uh, wasting your body and, and being super sore at the end of the day when you could alleviate all that stuff by buying a good desk and a good chair, new chair. So that's what I did. And you don't have to buy it once and it's a, you know investment for yourself. So here we go. We're going to uh, take this thing down and build us an Argosy desk. So I've taken the big monitors off. Now I have to do the hard part, which is this. <laughs> Pretty inevitable. Cables have to go places and things, and you can you can try to manage some of it. Oh boy. Good times. I got a bunch of cable management stuff and I'll be doing it right this time with the, with the desk, because it was always my intention to kind of replace this desk. But I didn't think I'd have it this long. These are the boxes that the console comes in. This is seven boxes. And if you're in the US, Argosy gives you free shipping. Thank God. <laughs> I, this, this big guy is actually really heavy. Uh, these other guys actually are not too bad. I'm starting to pack everything away, which is driving me insane, believe it or not. Try to stack all the audio stuff as best I can back here. So the Kemper and the the bias head, the torpedo live, and my lucky owls. Vince is here now helping, like a good bandmate would. Where's the rest of you guys? Right. Where's the rest of you reposes? <laughs> Reposers. <laughs> Reposers. Ooh. <laughs> this is what hell looks like. But everything's kinda gutted out. Now it's just the units in the front. Oh, so dusty and dirty. Changing of dads. Oh. When, you, uh, when you build an Argosy console, I haven't even started yet. Beer is needed. And I gotta still take all this stuff out. But that'll happen once I actually get to building a desk, me and Vince. So those are all just power cords. Oh. Yay. So Vince, what, what horror did we unpack? Just now. Well, you know, when you get something shipped to you, you wish for anything, any kind of insulation other than packing peanuts. Absolutely. Well, these are like packing peanuts from hell because they just fray off and get everywhere. Styrofoam. <laughs> lots and lots of styrofoam. God damn it. Oh, no. Things are falling over. <laughs> the world's ending. That's the top to it. It's, it's heavy. Very, very heavy. And, oh, oh, no. Our kids' heads are falling off. Oh. oh, getting started. 
Oh, and we have a special person to come help. Oh, oh, oh. hi guys. Don't ever do that again, please. <laughs> Vince just got done putting the desk together. It's all done. And he's, all not even, he's not even winded. Yeah. <sighs> Been working out. That tater tot chicken, uh, chicken nugget diet. Chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. Chicken tot diet. Chicken tot. Uh, we should uh, we should reenact some various uh, Star Trek scenes. Yeah, you should you should be Scotty, a real Harry Scotty. We'll just call you Harry. Is there a Wookiee in Star Trek? I know I know I'm not mixing up the two Star Wars. You know what? There Star can Trek. be now. Right. This is my this right. is my channel. <laughs> there's a, in my world. There's Wookies in Star, Star Trek. <laughs> That's awesome. Lumpy has been working very hard. Good job, Lumpy. Good job, Lumpy. Hard to work. <laughs> Vince has been, he, he really built this whole thing and in five minutes no less. Yeah, that was all my beard. Beard does the work, you know. Beard. Okay, I'll let you keep doing it. Okay. <laughs> beard lives matter. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> you guys work hard? Yeah, you guys worked hard, huh? Well, it's 90% there. My new power conditioners for each bank won't be here till tomorrow. Those will go on the very top. But, yay! Argosy desk. Um, I will note that this Argosy desk has gone together unlike any other piece of furniture I've ever constructed, whether it be Ikea, mom and pop places, anything like that. Uh, the, bless you, Lumpa, Gazuntite. Um, the fit and finish on this thing is unbelievable. Uh, the, the pieces go together very, very snugly, but not tough. Uh, for example, the bracket holding the monitors um, I was actually able to just slide it in there and I didn't have to hold it up to put the bolts in. It fits snugly, perfectly in there. Um, you know, the lines on everything are just beautiful. Um, money well spent, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I was actually concerned about the size of this guy, but Argosy told me that these are not a problem as long as any one monitor does not exceed 35 pounds 35 pounds this guy's 18 pounds and this guy's like eight i was really worried about the weight because it looks like you know you know you instantly worry about the the desk tipping over or something but nope it's sturdy so yeah that's uh that's me putting together the the argosy halo workstation it's actually a lot of fun I love the cable routing and um, cable management stuff in the back, and it's just super, super awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.